Hello and welcome to the beginning of our Minecraft adventure. You join me here on the evening before the big journey. We have been spending some time here in this village, um, just getting resources and such. And we're all excited because tomorrow we are traveling to our new home. You a new home. Uh, this is the house here that I have been living in whilst in the village um, and um, yes it's, it's time for bed so let's go to bed and um, but, uh, villager out of bed get out of the bed right rested and ready for the morning uh, was he in our face you wanna go villager anyway we need to go because the journey to our new home is one day. It takes one day exactly to get there and we do not want to get lost. <sighs> I don't want to be stuck out here at night. Ah, anyway, like I said, um, the criteria for the new home is jungle near warm ocean. So we need some coral reef and some jungle. Nice and warm place for us to go and live. <sighs> right, a new new to this game and I guess I would say I think I feel that the game is a horror game it's scary it's very it's very scary I mean how did you guys find this um, when you started playing it I mean I know it's been out for 10 years now so I'm pretty late to the party but <laughs> yes how did you guys find it when you what did you think it was scary too I mean, I think the scary thing about it is, I can't say. I mean, it's not, <laughs> it's not very relaxing when you, you can't say when you know that you can lose stuff. Uh, and you can't go back to a save. And that's like reality. I mean, I mean that means it makes Minecraft like an alternative reality. Hey, I mean, like, what would it be like if if in reality we could create a save point, we could create a save point in reality and then um, go back to it if things didn't go very well. I mean, we could do all sorts of things. I mean, I don't know, what would, what, what would you do if you could create a save point and then go back to it if you didn't, you know, things didn't turn out well? Um, I mean, I guess essentially that would mean that save point would be reverse time travel. We would just have to reverse time travel. <laughs> okay, so anybody know how to do that? Um, actually, there was a video that I did see yesterday talking about physics, about quantum physics, and there was um, one theory in that, which, um, ooh, dolphins. Hello, dolphins. <laughs> Hello, dolphins. One theory in that, which was saying that there was a field of matter and a field of antimatter, and the matter moves forward in time, and the antimatter moves backwards in time. So, I guess, in theory, all we would have to do then is find a way to turn our bodies into antimatter, and then we would move backwards in time. Simple. I mean, I'm sure, <laughs> I am sure there will be a lot of consequences for that. Um, oh, here, here is the fortress. This, this fortress, I um, came down the coast when I was exploring earlier. I found it. I thought this would be a good place. Oh, this is cool. What's in here? Went in there and died. You know, I, being a noob, I didn't really <laughs> know that it was full of vindictors or whatever they're called, the um, raider people. And... Um, yeah, it didn't end well. So maybe one day when we get stronger, we've got some more equipment. We might go back and see if we can take them on. Now, here we are in the river system. This river system, we have to navigate through this river system without getting lost. Um, Because no, we do not want to spend the night out here in the dark. I mean, we have a bed with us, but um, no, we don't, want, we don't want to risk any mobs. <sighs> anyway. What was I saying? Yeah, if we could turn ourselves into antimatter, we could um, then go back in time. <laughs> but how big 
I mean, like, if one mass of, like, one human mass of mass, like, one human mass, bounty mass, eh, how much energy would be released? I don't think, I don't think it would end well, to be honest with you. So, save points in reality and reverse time travel. I don't think, um, I don't think that's something that's going to be happening um, anytime soon. <sighs> anyway, we should take take a moment from the uh, the uh, the mind uh, the mind bending stuff. Take a, a relaxing relaxing um, relaxing the view of all the scenery here. Um, but it is it's amazing actually. It's the way that my brain works that um, Minecraft can make you think of so many different things and spawn conversations about all sorts of different things. Who would have thought that that um, Minecraft would have ended up with us talking about time travel and matter and antimatter? <sighs> but um, yeah, I mean, we could talk about, about the jungle here. I wouldn't just stay in this jungle because there's no warm ocean. Um, and that was one of the criteria was to try and find something nice and warm for us to go and live um, with the coral reef in it too. Um, we come through here, now ah, we're into the desert, this, is, this looks right, we're coming through the desert and um, once we're through the desert we should see the warm ocean. I mean that's one of the things that we, with the, the, the nature of the environment we could talk about the desert, we could talk about Desertification, which is not making lots of cakes and pudding. As <laughs> jumpy as that sounds, it's about um, ooh, yeah, here's the warm ocean and the coral. The, de it's, the desertification is about the, like the climate changing so that it becomes where it was grassland, maybe forest, is now no longer able to support plant life there and it becomes more arid. I mean, we could talk about coral reefs here and how the warming of the oceans is affecting them. Another topic of Minecraft could maybe make us talk about. Now we're coming through the desert here into the Badlands. This is bad, Badlands and the Mesa, um, whichever one you want to call it. I mean, it's a very, um, very pretty biome. You know, there's not a lot here, but again, we could talk about this environment and this ecosystem and um, how these rock formations are created. I guess it's the, um, the towers made out of rock which is less susceptible to erosion. So um, that's how you end up with these these really you know, wonderful rock formations here. Um, yeah. uh, right, come through this mess huh? and we should be spotting I think there should be a, a desert temple mm. the very very um conscious of the sun again and um that we need to get a move on otherwise we're going to be stuck out here in the dark around here yes over this lovely coral reef well oh, there it is there is a desert temple maybe one day again we can come and explore this and um, find out what there is down there. It, how about the dolphins? The dolphins are still following us. How, how are they going to follow us the whole way? Now, we come this way and there is here, we've got a desert village. Mm, yep, checking the sun. We're, we're using that for time. Mm. We don't want to start talking about time. Now, um, Yes, we've got this desert village here to the right, which um, we, well, I guess we can come and we can see what we can find here too. Um, and um, I guess it's worth uh, you know, learning, learning within the game that we should level up some villages and maybe they get some good stuff, maybe some enchanters. That's one way to get that. <laughs> oh, sun setting, we need to get a move on. I don't want to be stuck out here, me and doggy doggy. <laughs> no, that won't be good. Ah, uh, right, yes, we are nearly here. There's the jungle, we're coming through. 
and once we get through this opening here, yes, we have made it. <sighs> Breathe a sigh of relief. I think we should just make it to our beach just as the sun is setting. So, <sighs> yes, we don't want to be stuck out here. We don't want to be attacked by any ground. Oh, yeah. yep. And here is our jungle, our new jungle and our new home. And this is the beach that we have found to um, set up camp on. Just as the sun is setting and the dolphins are still following us, we have just made it here. <sighs> hey! And here we are at our new home. I hope you like it. Here we have the jungle, we have a beach, and we have Doggy Doggy, and we have made it successfully. Yay! Yes. Oh, dolphins, look at them. They're all excited we've made it too. Yeah, Ah, what a relief. We have made it to our new home, all safe and in one piece. Ah, breathe a sigh of relief. We made it. Um, so. I guess, I guess that's the end of the video. A thank you for watching. And um, if you would like to continue to see our adventures here in Minecraft, what we can build and what we can find around our new home, then please like and subscribe. And um, yes, maybe there'll be more interesting conversations that can be spawned from encounters in Minecraft. Thank you again, everybody for watching. I hope you're all doing well and I hope to see you all again soon in the future. Bye bye everybody. Take care. Bye.